Tomato soup with grilled cheese is great for kids. Tomato soup with grilled cheese is even better for adults. So I've created a recipe for the perfect tomato soup with some cheesy bread toasties that are absolutely gonna rock your world. There are so many tomato seconds that are available, you know, ones that are a little bruised or a little nicked or a little, you know, pockmarked. And I buy them by the five pound bucket full. And what I do is I quarter them, I toss them with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I put them into a slow oven. But eventually you wanna roast them so that they start to crinkle up around the edges and the tomato flavor, that sweet acidity intensifies. You want them to look like this. We wanna put a quarter cup of olive oil. Once that gets smiling and aromatic, we add our onions. I love thyme. I love the slight vegetal anise flavor that a little bit of tarragon provides. Of course, basil and sliced garlic, Goodfellas style, nice and thin. And of course, take some nice kosher salt or sea salt and give it a little sprinkle over your onions. Now we don't want to brown our onions, we just want to put the faintest yellow golden hue on them. I'm just gonna put some pepper in there. Now you can see they are now all fully sweated, fully translucent all the way through, which means we're ready to add our half cup of Pernod and our tomatoes. We're just gonna give that a stir, but I'm gonna let this cook for five, six minutes. The juices from the tomatoes are gonna come out, but I'm gonna freeze that uncooked Pernod flavor into the soup, a reduced, focused, more nuanced flavor that only comes from actually simmering this for five minutes or so. Here I have two cups of canned tomato puree. So once that comes to a boil, we add eight cups of stock, which was so gloopy because even cold, it was so gelatinous. It gives so much body and flavor. And we just bring that to a boil, lower the heat to maintain a simmer. Got a lot of surface area and evaporates. So the soup has cooked for about 80 minutes. You wanna do what most people never do in their kitchens, taste their soup. Add a little bit of pepper, about a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna taste it again to make sure it's right. Came alive. I'm gonna season this with just a tablespoon of olive oil. Rather than serve it so chunky, I'm gonna use my immersion wand. Pureeing it just a little bit, you know, halfway. I still get all that texture in there, those big pieces of tomato. These are my Parmesan bready, toasty, crouton things. So I'm just gonna stack a bunch of those in the middle there. And I always think it's fun to have some fresh tomato flavor as well. So we're just gonna drop a couple of those in there a tiny little pinch of basil top on each one. Little taste for me because I work so hard on this. It's tomato insanity in a bowl. It's just as good as it gets. 